it's Leah and today I am in my bathroom. I don't normally do videos in my bathroom unless one, it's piercings or two, it's makeup. Would you like to guess which? I thought you'd figure it out. So I have my alcohol, I have my needle, I have my marker, cotton ball, my earrings. When you pierce your ears, make sure it is real earrings. Sterling silver, you see that? Sterling silver. And then I have a bar of soap to go behind my ear to help me pierce it straight. That way I don't jerk or anything like that. I've already washed my hands. I'm going to put my hair up and I am going to do this. I am going to be piercing right, right above my little gauge. I do plan on having two right above my gauge, but I'm only going to be doing this one today, the big one. And then once the swelling goes down in a few weeks, I will go ahead and do the one above it. Let's get started. You will need to go ahead and get the alcohol. Do not use peroxide. Peroxide it has been proven to kill white blood cells and it will slow the healing process up even though it does scab over nice and it doesn't hurt. It still kills your white blood cells and doesn't help heal as fast. So alcohol, I, if you have any piercings, I would go ahead and take them out because take them out, clean around them. Make sure the entire area is pretty much like. This is the needle I will be using. If you cannot see, it is the same needle that I use to re-pierce my lip every time it closes up. I'm going to sterilize it by setting, well not setting it on fire, but putting a flame to it. So the needle is in my ear. I'm going to try and push it all the way through because it, it is only the tip that went through the skin. And the tip is not as big as these earrings. So it didn't actually hurt that bad. I just heard a little pop, pop. Trying to push it through is a lot of work though. scared the shit out of me. Okay, I heard a big pop and it was it. It's Ian! Good idiot! Look how pretty it is. <sighs> now to sterilize. For the video, this is how my ears turned out. They turned out pretty good. Up the camera. And focus. If you are faint or if you have a very low pain tolerance, I do not recommend doing this at home, even if you are gutsy. Well, I guess for mine, I didn't really eat much before. I don't know how to say it. But make sure you eat before you do this. It was a bad idea for me to do it on an empty stomach. I was so hungry while I was doing it. My little, little. Anyway, make sure you sterilize everything. I know that everyone's like, oh, it's gonna get infected. If it gets infected, I will take them out. I do not think it will because I know how to take care of my piercings. And I have re-pierced my lip 
twice now, so I think I will be okay. If you have any questions or concerns, I will answer them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!